Hello everybody, welcome our first tutorial of PN driver engineering and runtime series. In this video, we will create a TIA portal project with PN driver, KP8 and ET200 SP. After this video, you will have a better understanding of creating engineering project for PN driver. Let's get started. I will configure the network as shown on the picture. PN driver will be used as IO controller inside an industrial PC and it controls IO data of KP8 and ET200SP. All of the required MLFPs numbers of the devices are shown on the picture. You can also find the links for the corresponding industrial mile page in the description. Let's get started creating TIA portal project. After opening TIA portal, we need to start by creating a new project. In order to create a new project, we should first click create new project, type the project name and click the create button. We are selecting open the project view to switch the project view. After clicking the device networks tab, one on the left side of the screen, we will see the network view. From the catalog menu on the right side, we can find the devices we are using in this project. Let's add our PN driver with its MLFP number from search bar of the catalog menu. By double clicking it, we will add PN driver to our project. We can switch to device view by clicking PN driver icon on the network view. Interface module needs to be added to PN driver in order to run it as a controller. This can be added from the communication modules from the right side. Since we will use Linux native variant in this project, we should add Linux native interface by double clicking it. After adding our interface, we completed our PN driver part. Let's switch back to the network view and add our other devices. Let's search the KP8 with its MLFP number and add it to the project by double clicking just like PN driver. Since KP8 is a compact device, we don't need to any additional submodules. We need ET200SP here. We can follow the same path before in order to do that. We will open the device view of ET200SP with double clicking it. We need to add input and output modules here. Those can be found with their MLFPs. Let's add them into our device. After adding input and output modules, we need to add a server module into the end. Let's go back to the network view and make necessary connections. Once we click the not assigned label on our device icon, it will show us available controllers in our project. And then we can select PN driver from there. Network connections are completed. It's also possible to make topology connections. We can connect Ethernet port from this topology view. First, we are connected Ethernet port of the PN driver to the first port of KP8 and the second port of KP8 to the first port of ET200SP. It's critical that real connections should be same with our topological connections here. Let's go back to the network view and see IP address settings. We need to select PN drivers Ethernet interface and click properties. If we scroll down a little bit, we can see IP address of Ethernet interface, which set by TIA portal automatically. We can also change this IP address. By scrolling down a little bit more, we can also see and change the device name, which assigned by TIA portal. When we change the IP address of the controller, subnet of the devices are assigned automatically. Let's check IP addresses and device names of our remaining devices. Device name and IP addresses can be assigned automatically by the controller in case topology information is given to the project. To let the controller assign the device names and IP address automatically, we should click controllers interface. After selecting advanced options under the general tab, we should click permit overwriting device names of all assigned IO devices option. We can also see input and output addresses assigned by TIA portal from device view of key panel 8. We can also see IO tags.
Let's check ET200SP's IO addresses. As can be seen, input is assigned to 2 and output is assigned to 4 here. These are the IO tags. To finish the engineering project, we should click PN driver icon and compile button. If there is no error in the project, it will be compiled. If there is any warning or error in the engineering project, it can be seen under compile tab under info section. By double clicking to the XML file, it will direct us to the project folder. Let's change the XML configuration name. We will be using this XML configuration file in the next video of our tutorial. Then we have completed project creation. See you there. I hope this tutorial series helped you have a better understanding of PN drivers and engineering systems. If you have further questions, please don't hesitate to contact us from the email below. Thank you for watching.